Who threw you out of the apartment by your ponytail? David Chase. Who put you on the bed with their hands around your throat and pushed you onto the bed? David Chase. You heard it new details tonight in a domestic violence case where the victim says her boyfriend at that time beat her twice in the same day, once before he went to jail and once after a judge let him out. It was a marathon day of testimony surrounding suspect David Chase. Fox 17's Roger Suzanne in live downtown right now where testimony has just wrapped up within the hour. Long day, Roger. Absolutely. You guys know it certainly was a long day when the front doors of the courthouse are still open. That certainly is not normally the case at 930. But at the end of this day, David Chase's ex-girlfriend was able to declare at least a minor victory. You see, she was able to get the order of protection against David Chase. He was not able to get an order of protection he was seeking against her. Now, here is the deal. Back in June, David Chase was arrested and accused of assaulting his ex-girlfriend early one June morning. Now, he went into custody for a little while, but he got out very quickly because the judge waived a 12-hour cooling off period. Now, when Chase returned to his home, his ex-girlfriend was inside because police had granted her a warrant and 12 hours to remove her stuff. After a loud verbal dispute, Chase's ex-girlfriend claims he attacked her but he claims his ex was the aggressor in this case. Right now, both sides are seeking protection orders. I mentioned, though, that Chase was not able to get the one against his girlfriend he was seeking. She was able to get the one against him for a period of one year. Now, Chase did not give his side today, but his ex-girlfriend described her side of the attack in vivid detail. What, did Mr. Chase say anything to you while he had his hands around your neck like this? Uh, he told me he was, uh, that I was ruining his life and that um, he wanted to kill me and that he was going to try and break my neck. Now we mentioned that Chase decided not to testify. It was his right, but he did not do that. We can tell you, though, a friend of Chase's says he saw an injury shortly after the altercation above one of Chase's ears. Now, tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to let you hear from both lawyers. They just addressed the media after this marathon day ended, and we'll let you hear from both of them tonight at 10 o'clock. Live downtown, Roger Suzanne at Fox 17 News.